What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me, your host, Bella R. Wright. And welcome to Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. And it appears we cannot escape THQ Nordic games. Uh, between this and Darksiders 1 and 2, as well as some Darksiders 3, I haven't done the full playthrough yet. Uh, well, I did on stream anyway. Uh, but also... Um, but also uh, Remnant from the Ashes. Uh, it seems to be I'm playing a lot of THQ Nordic games. And it's not really on purpose. Um, for the Darksider series, yes. For Remnant, yes. But I didn't plan on playing um, this particularly because it's uh, THQ Nordic. But anyways, we're going to get into it. I actually did plan on playing this game on the 360, the original version. Um, but we'll just play the new version. Why not? Why not? I'll probably still eventually go back and play the 360 version. Because I do want to play all my 360 games. But, um, this version seems a lot of fun too. And this version, from what I understand, is pretty much the exact same as the older version. I don't know if anything new has been added to it. Um, but from the little I played of the original, it was a really fun time. So we're going to do tutorials. Uh... I suppose we'll lock the mini map. I don't know why we wouldn't lock it. Maybe we can move it. HD or HUD scaling mode. Have that on default. And everything else is probably old X to me. Okay. Okay, my audio is a little off because I'm listening to it through the uh, computer. So if there's audio cues, I'm going to be pretty bad at them. All right, let's go ahead. New game. Um, oh, this game has a, most of you already know, uh, I know it mostly through the Matt McMuscles uh, What Happened series, but this game has a very interesting history. So if you have not um, read up on that or know anything about this game's history, go ahead and check out Matt McMuscles uh, is a uh, expose series what happened um on kingdoms kingdoms of amalur it's a really good really good um viewing suppose we'll do hard yeah i suppose we'll do hard i had a good time playing it before it wasn't i played maybe uh like an hour and a half of it, it wasn't the hardest game ever but i also didn't really fight any bosses or anything like that I think I fought maybe one boss. From the beginning, we were wrong, and only now. Ah, you guys probably didn't see that, but um, I accidentally turned my recording off, so I just started over. I'm actually pretty bad at hotkeys, uh, and I have my recording right next to my mute button. From the beginning, we were really bad wrong, setup. And only now, well, all right, third time's a charm, guys. <laughs> Uh, so what I discovered with this game is it is dark as all hell. So I just turned the brightness up in the game. I'm going to go back and I'm going to start it over. Hopefully you guys can see the opening cutscene and stuff. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force that looks way might better. Awaken. A force powerful enough to gift even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. I couldn't see any of this before. Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Om, believed that a new god was to be born in the east beneath gadflo's crystalline fortress of amethyn 
In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Such two are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fey do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Yeah, I previously said this reminds me of Medieval um, for PS PS One game that was recently remastered for PS Four, and uh, it really does. It's very similar, and I do have that playthrough on the channel if you guys want to check that out. Recorded it uh, last Halloween. Okay, so please turn your brightness up, folks, because you will miss most of that cutscene if you don't. What do you think this one is that? Alpha, Solana, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we see. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Okay, so we got our races here. I'm gonna choose a female character. But I'll show you guys the male characters as well. Uh, the Almain are a warlike and religious nation of a storied origin. Many Almain come to the Feyland seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. Then we have the Varani. Hardened by the high seas, the Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Kind of our um, Viking. Um, and the way I, I said I was, I was going to pronounce this uh, Yosulfar. Uh, the Yosulfar are a proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. Yosefar judged themselves fit and divine, a uh, fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun, and sky, and meet out and meet an even-handed justice. So these guys uh, remind me of the frost giants in uh, Norse mythology. We also have the Dokulfar, or the Dokulfar. I think I'm going to pronounce them that way. The Dokulfar are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace, or efficiently in silence. So we get the racial the racial bonuses um are pretty interesting. Uh, the Elmain have persuasion, alchemy, and blacksmithing, which are three very interesting skills. Uh, the Varani have hidden detect or detect hidden. Mercantile and lock picking. The Yosofar have alchemy, sagecraft, and dispelling. And the Dakofar have persuasion, stealth, and sagecraft. So initially, I played it. When I played this on the 360, I initially played the Dakofar for about an hour and a half. That's as far as I got into the game. Um, but this time, as I was looking at it, I was thinking Varani. I think I'm going to go back with the Dakofar. Because the uh, I like their skills. They describe, if I was in this world, I feel like I would be more Dakofar than anything else. Um, so I'm not warlike or religious. Uh, I'm not a merchant. As a matter of fact, I mean, I, I technically am because I've been doing uh, sales or um, customer service jobs for a very long time. But I, I don't like that shit at all. Uh, Yosefar, uh, I'm not from the north. I am, You know what? I kind of am from the north. I'm from Michigan. So this this could be me. 
Um, but the Dakwafar is kind of where I'm at. Uh, I don't like conflict, uh, but I like to resolve disputes with subtlety and grace if I can. You, you can't always do that. Um, I like efficiency, and I tend to move in silence like the G and Lasagna. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. And typically I, I choose male characters. This time I'm going to choose a female character. You guys will probably like this. It is a third person game, so you'll be seeing a hot um a very hot uh i guess dark elf character so let's go Dakwafar. we got bonuses here from athene goddess of wisdom and art we get a 10 percent uh plus mana bonus uh from aurelia the goddess of love and beauty we get five percent health and one percent to critical hit chance as our patron bonuses uh from belen the god of death we get plus one percent chance to critical hit and a plus 8% critical hit damage, uh, critical hit damage, two critical hit damage, I should say, uh, from fate, um, I should say, L uh, Lyria, the goddess of fate, magic, and luck, we get a patron bonus of plus 5% mana, and plus 5% mana G uh, regen per second, so this is probably what I'm going to go for, because this is awesome, um, from uh, Lupoku, god of mischief, patron of brewing, we get a plus 6% uh, poison damage and we get uh, plus six percent poison resistance and if we go no blessing uh no patron no what are these called if we choose no god or goddess uh we are beholden to no god and our self-sufficiency yields its own rewards so we get a plus one percent bonus so typically this would be me right here i'd be all up in this because who needs you know who who, who needs that uh who needs that support? You know, we live in a godless, godless society, so uh, <laughs> this would be pretty good. Um, this this would describe what I would typically get, but I can't pass up on that sweet, sweet patron bonus of additional mana and mana regen. So, and this kind of describes me also because I'm becoming weirdly spiritual. So uh, we're going to go with fate. We got presets here. I'll show you all of them. We got five all together. The initial one looks really good. Um, but we got more. Presets. This one. This one, which looks very similar to the first one. Same haircut, just different jaw structure, I guess. Slightly different skin color. And this young lady. So um, I went with this one before because this one's really cool. Um, really fierce. Uh, look at the eyes. The eyes like are very um, kind of kind of cutthroat. So uh, we're not gonna change much about the face. We're not gonna change the skin tone. I wasn't able to see the eye color before, which is what made me want to reset the game. The green's cool. I might go with a different color though. I might go with the yellow, like the gold yellowish. The red is not bad either. I'll go with the red actually. Uh, eyeshadow. I don't. I can, still can't really see the eyeshadow. Lipstick's fine. We're gonna change the hair. This is a cool hairstyle. I guess I can show you guys all the hairstyles. This one's cool. Definitely second second choice. That one's cool too. I'm gonna go with. This one, I like this one. It's like a, a warrior lady's hairstyle pulled back out of her face. Um, we're gonna go with, you know, red actually wouldn't be such a bad hair color, I don't think, for this character. But I'm gonna go dark. Either that or that. I'm gonna go to this. Okay. Jewelry, I'm actually gonna take her, even though it looks cool, I'm gonna take her jewelry off. We're gonna consider um, the importance of uh, not having this stuff on for battle. We don't want people pulling it out. Tattoo's fine, I like this face tattoo. I like the color it is. I might go with this one though. I might go with a lighter, lighter color. I don't know what intensity does. Maybe it makes it more visible. 
turn down a little bit. Okay. This is fine with me. Looks like one of the Dokov bar women. <laughs> Held up pretty good too. Alright then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know you'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. <laughs> okay, so... This is interesting. I wonder what these guys, what these guys are about. Why they're collecting bodies and stuff. Maybe they're looking for whatever special type of person um, this character is. And I'm actually going to name this character um, after another character. So we've been rocking with the name Akolsha from the Lost Kingdoms playthrough. I think we used it for the first and the second Lost Kingdoms. I think I put it in a different game too. We were playing something else, and I think I used the culture. I'm gonna change up a little bit and use K's instead. And that's as a reference to our well, previous that's title. It for you, then. Better luck next time. <laughs> that, the, the thud at the end is hilarious. That's pretty rough. That's rough, buddy. This game looks pretty good. Pretty dang good. And you guys can actually thank Buckethead Head from, for this suggestion. Um, I probably wouldn't play this. I mean, I was thinking about playing a 360 version, but um, because he suggested this last year, it really made me um, really want to play this. Let's see if we can jump off the side of this thing. No, visible walls. Okay. And before we get started, let's go ahead and check that achievement list slash trophy list. Um, because I do want to see what maybe we should be aiming for. I'm going to probably be aiming for a 100% playthrough. Okay. Well, I think we can do... We can get the trophies over here, right? Or, or, or my crazy. Okay, yeah, through here. Trophies, all trophies. Bunch of hidden trophies, usually story related. Uh, House of Ballot Storyline Quest. Okay, so these are quests. Easy. Kill 25 Niskaru. Kill five enemies with a single fate shift. Um, kill an enemy four levels higher than us. Kill 50 bandits, 10 unique items. Okay, that's just gameplay stuff. Traps, parrying, 100 chain attacks. Okay, anything particularly difficult? Because I think we're gonna get all this stuff naturally. Epic gem, pristine sharp, backstabs, 100 locations, 25 things, lore stones, books, gold, Stole. Okay, we gotta go to jail. Uh, we gotta do twenty-five crimes. Oh, okay, we gotta bribe. Two class hybrid destiny, top tier destiny, jack of all trades, fifty locks, wards, messages in a bottle. I think we do this. The thing I might not have thought about is um doing crimes and spending money and bribes. So we're definitely gonna be doing that. Okay, I think we can probably 100% the game. 
So this could potentially be a walkthrough, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna hold off on that until I know exactly what the hell I'm doing with this game. Let's see. Alright, circle is our roll button. Uh L2 is block. I can get down with that. The roll is really quick too. Uh, can we change controls if we want to? Okay, controls. No, controls are set. These are the default controls. Now we can do. Okay, fair enough. The controls, uh, they don't feel bad. I just wanted to know if you could change them. So, there'll be a note before we get that. I want to get this, uh, weapon here we got a lever let's take it so we get to our equipment through here oh this thing is rusty cool quests Quest log contains all of your quests. You can set your active quest by selecting a quest and pressing X. Find a way out. We got faction stuff too. Oh, is it more to that? I woke up in a pile of corpses somewhere deep underground. I have no memory of who I am and no clue where I am. I need to find uh, a way out of here. And can we fight yet? Yes. Square is our attack button. I believe triangle is our... We get two sets of weapons, right? So I think triangle is the way to use our other weapon. Uh, experiment disposal. Secrecy is still important to our work, requiring specialized disposal of unfortunate of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been added to deal with the waste. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps. Probably a fitting rest for the poor things, but if but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. Uh, for Morris Hugues, I'm gonna pronounce that as Hughes or Hugues. Hugues. Hugues is fine. Hugues. So this is the incinerator. Let's see if this. I mean, we know it incinerates. But let's see if this gets us anything. Probably should have waited to use that. So we got a choice already. We can either go forward or we can go this way. Okay, this way leads to loot. Skeletons. Or just go. And invisible walls. Fair enough. Not much of a choice. Thing over here. Well, I'm kind of glad for the invisible walls because I'd be too tempted to. I, I know I'd accidentally die like a lot if the invisible walls weren't there. Okay, still kind of dark. Where's my sneak button? Get her, children of dust! Get her before the might of the Tuatha! Now, Tuatha. Tuatha are the bad guys' army, right? <clears throat> I'm really bad with terminology early on in games. It's going to take me a while to memorize everything. Oh, this is really dark. Um, I guess it's supposed to be, but... I'm going to crank that brightness up just a little bit more. Yeah, I might have to max this out. <laughs> so, If it looks not so good, I'll turn it down. I couldn't even see these barrels. Oh, 
circle. Can I loot you? No. Stay away. So he's running. He ain't doing nothing. Oh. Oh no, he's going after him. There we go. I was wondering if that was if these are going to be worth it. Help anybody. I'll see if I can help you, dude. I don't even know my controls yet, man. You up there, please help me. Please. More mortal scum. Okay, so I block button. These guys got a lot of health. Dude, I'm strong as hell. Look, look at me juggle combo these assholes. In cell. Come along. I, I see you here, Bobo. On the slab, you you were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. What happened to me? Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the well of souls and some. Ah. It worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. Hughes. You have questions for him. So, yeah. So, these guys have just been messing around with, like, a regeneration machine. I guess it's been creating bodies this whole time, but they've been empty bodies. They've just been chucking corpses <laughs> into this big old pile and incinerating them. Uh, hey, whatever you gotta do to beat back the impossible evil um faction oh no you don't Who are these attackers i hope the process damaged your memory they are the tawatha deo the enemies of all the young races right we've never seen them this far inland not that they're very good invasion i i don't know why they are here hughes may have the answer to that as well you must stay alive and reach him all right, who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, Oceans. let's get going. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, we got three healing potions. So the incel thing is funny, but this game was made before that sort of this sort of terminology became popular. So it's not a parry on that at all. If if some of you guys were thinking it's like a um you know, like a like a big joke. Um, where is Hughes? He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least I hope he's there. And safe. Attackers. Oh my. You don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the two offer day. We've never seen them this far inland. Not that they're very good invasion. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just mm. put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. The well of souls is just ahead. You'll see. And and it worked. It restored you to life. There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. All right. Let me get this. Let's do it. Wood. Right this way. Okay, he's getting the door. Right, let me get this chest, little man. Okay, so I think this isn't gonna go away until I actually do this, unless it's now. 
Okay, gosh. I didn't think it was going to go away. Um, got the leggings. Old boots. Is it? Do we not have... Um, guess not yet. We got consumables. Can we, like... Yes. The item uh, radio allows you to quickly access consumables from the game. Here you can add consumables from your inventory by selecting an empty slot and pressing X. Additionally, you can also add consumables to the item radio while in game by pressing L1. Okay. Uh, potions will be straight up, I think. There we go. I don't really know how to access the radio, so let's open it up. Let's go ahead and check our controls right quick. Let's see. L1. All right. Block is that. Still. Okay. Stealth is R1. R2's abilities. I can sprint with X and interact. I can dodge a circle. Okay. This makes sense. Uh, health, aggressive mana. I don't know what these mean. Maybe they. Maybe they are for AI allies. Oh, the. Uh, oh, this is a different dwarf. I can hold that to sprint. I don't seem to have stamina. Stealth. So I don't have stealth yet. I'm guessing they're gonna unlock that once I get once I get to the next area, probably. I remember being able to use a bow and arrow as well. See if he has anything other to say. Yeah, I got it. Making sure, man. This is Paradise Lost, our greatest invention. The well of souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. The camera's a little crazy. Killed all of them. Dude, look at all the dead dwarves, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have a problem with this game because I love breaking stuff. This game seems to be a uh, seems to provide a lot of that, a lot of opportunity to break stuff. So apologies in advance for all the stuff I'm gonna break in this playthrough. Okay, we got some gloves. And hopefully we can increase our inventory because I could tell this thing is gonna fill up real quick. Real quick. Cool. We do have another choice for Greaves. These seem to be a little bit sturdier actually. Mm, I don't know if there's a weight Critical hit damage or melee block efficacy. Mm, we'll go with the old boots for now. No 
Okay. So I was I was wondering because I blocked before, but I took damage. I I thought I could maybe block with my sword, but it doesn't seem like you can do that. So instead, we are going to a worn old shield of very poor quality. Wait, do you hear block with that. Offer. I'm gonna prefer to dodge anyway. So this is gonna be good for me at combo stuff. So we can get both of them together. And we kill one. A dead person over there? Alright. Crude birch bow. Fast speed. Eight physical damage, three piercing damage. Alright. I think the arrows are unlimited, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we got those guys over there. Somebody hear me? Oh shit. Fair enough. Archers up ahead. Best mm -hmm. shoot them before they see us. No, oh, they saw me already. <laughs> Mod arrows. Oh, no, I didn't want to see if there was anything else over here. Okay. So archers have a very long range. Uh, long range of vision. As they should. They are archers. But you know, video game logic would uh, dictate that their range is very short. Typically. That looks like a trap. Press and hold triangle. Hmm. Guess they're too far to do regular shots. That works for me, pal. We got a ton of lockpicks already. Sweet leg plates. Thought this was a treasure chest. It's a pretty good game so far. Digging it. I could I could tell I'm gonna get lost in it pretty quickly. Um the camera is a little bit finicky though. I don't really like the camera. It doesn't feel very modern, it feels if you catch an enemy unaware, their speed more than makes up for their time. I think I'm gonna go daggers, daggers and ball. Let's see if we can do something about that camera. The camera feels a little too something or other. Camera smoothing. I don't really know what to do to change that though. Field of view. Is it the smoothing? I don't know. I don't want to mess with anything either. Quiet daggers. Daggers are a special kind of weapon preferred by rogues. Try equipping them now. Yeah, I do like the rusty sword, but uh, these are kind of cool too. Uh, 
specialty gauntlet. So I'm going to keep this stuff in case I can later sell it. I'm going to keep everything I pick up. Teach me how to sneak, please. Because my button doesn't allow me to. Like, at all. I think I have to unlock this. There we go. <laughs> it should kind of just let you do that from the start. But, fair enough. That feels throwback. Okay. Might be able to get these guys too. At least one of them. I messed that stealth thing up. I messed it all the way up. That was pretty bad. Pick <laughs> and go. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Uh, hold R2 to access your abilities, then press square to use your sto Stormbolt ability. Incredible. What are you? Overpowered. So I could use that to do puzzles, I guess. robes minor serpent venom gold coins let's see what serpent venom is all about we can probably put that on our weapon increases the damage you do with poison based attacks plus 10 percent Plus 10, plus 10 poison damage and plus 25% poison damage. All right, and 711 is another daily number. I just briefly saw it before I closed the menu. Spider-Man memo. Hughes, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claw would try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Praetorians. But I feel the but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value that my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to this successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tighten, tightening of skin, symptoms which suggest a possible solution for the eternal cohesion problems of some of the whale's creations. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time. But the guards willingly and flagrantly disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately. For my steadfast pursuit, uh, for my steadfast pursuit of knowledge, I require no medal nor promotion. All I would ask is that you please reassign me off of subject disposal detail. Garan. Fair enough. So that's where we got the uh, the minor serpents. What they call it? The serpent's fang or the serpent's venom? Serpent's 
equipped as Venom. But it's Venom from a spider, so they should probably rename that. That's R2 and square. Does that do anything? Don't think it does anything. And we do have mana regeneration, as you can see. It's a nice perk to have. So the character is pretty much already what I like. It's a stealth assassin mage. I think these guys come to life. If I'm not mistaken. Worn hand wraps. There are the spiders. Oh, there's a cooldown on that. Hmm. Suppose we should try it at least. It is actually stronger. But it is uh, slower. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I might run a mage. It completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. Will do. Oh, snaps. Oh, they were like, forget whatever you're doing. This I can do. I keep dodging with uh, X, which is a problem. Oh, I couldn't even see. R2. What I wanted to do. Is the other spider alive? I think the other one's dead. Alright, dodge. There we go. You got a skull. <laughs> Take it off. So we do have a junk. We do have a junk section that I haven't taken advantage of yet. Which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to see what that does. That's just fun. <laughs> This flame staff is just fun. Okay. okay, now he wants us to leave the Well of Souls. We should have a little bit more control over the camera, but oh, this is fine. Where we part ways. 
And whatever you want for this army, we might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. Really? See if we can convince him for more help. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawatha realize what you are. You'll need them. Sweet. Receive minor steel curtain. I imagine that's additional defense. Head directly ahead in this direction. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside. Oh, well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Leather armor is thick, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy foe. Thank you. Simple cloth frees your body and mind, thereby enabling you to burn. I hope you're worth all this. <laughs> Go see who he is. We haven't got much time. Will do. Those guys are just over it all. They're just completely over everything. A better view, I guess so. Pick up well progress log. Experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5% of the time. Any missing limbs or extra fingers are now probably how the original subject looked, rather than a magical flux on our end. However, full revivification still eludes us. Even with increased testing, products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone. Although the occasional spasm or twitch does allow hope of full success in the future. I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpse rec uh, recreation uh, and skip the corpse recreation altogether. But you must know that we never be allowed to experiment with the subject's actual body for uh, ethical reasons, of course, uh, we may be we may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly. Homer is huge. Fair enough. They still got their morals. Question mark. They should probably just let you run into this and die. That would, that would be hilarious. I wasn't even able to read that. Those are only for the 360. You can't read those on the PS4. You've made it. And look at you. Evil that all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Homerus Hume, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of pain, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. What's going on? Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of there safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that it's only success is safe. Where are we? We're in the Fey lands, miles away from the front line. I thought we were safe enough from the war, but it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. 
Uh, I'll stay and fight. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you, you're. Wait, where are you going? Fascinating. Something astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow. Gratuitous. Air yes, shot. As I was saying, I'm not sure what. <clears throat> Perhaps I should go see. Probably not on purpose, though. Oh no! Incel! Damn it, Incel! You too, man. Oh no, you fool. Whoa, you badass fool. <laughs> Jeez. I wasn't expecting that. The funny thing is, I've likely seen this cutscene before, but I don't even remember that. Okay, I can't get there. It's not timed. Uh, okay, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Telling me don't be wasting time. Just get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, right. Right. This part should be time to get you used to the uh, sprint mechanic. Well, I could have stealth killed him. do daggers um you know what i can do i can probably just like um yeah put these on the uh can i put these on the radio i cannot put these on the radio unfortunately Because elsewise, the inventory is a little unwieldy. It's like a lot of menus to go through to change equipment. Because I can already tell there's going to be some enemies I want to fight with certain weapons. If we can stealth kill the next. Thing. Well, my button management is horrible. Uh oh. Not him yet. Where are you aiming at? <laughs> Okay, buttons. Okay, I was didn't have any. Take him out. Okay. Probably gonna want the staff. Okay. All right. But maybe he was weak to it. Troll has a lot of defense. Oh, he's gonna whip out some additional attacks, but nah. You can actually stunlock him. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. That's what I figured he was going to do. Got a war mode? Okay. I can't see anything. Did I chop his head off? Oh. That would have been nice if the camera was positioned better. Squire's ring. Body protection shard. We could have used some, um, because I did get that defense buff potion. Um, they were teaching me about shards, and I completely skipped that. Okay, we did get an accessory, the Squire's Ring, plus five health. Simple band of copper imbued with magic. Cool. And we did get a lot of consumables, actually. We got a steel curtain. Increases your total armor by 25%. And Venom Guard decreases poison damage received by 25%. We also got what's called a shard, which uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. Sagecraft pouch, a pouch full of crystalline shards used in sage crafting. This crystalline shard is filled with magic energies of protection. Combine it with other, other shards at a sagecraft altar to create your own sockable gems. Socketable gems. Not quite sure what to do with gems yet. But it looks like we're done here, so. Go ahead and mosey on along. To the All Star Glade. So many dead people. Go ahead and edit to map. We leveled up. We got a trophy, probably four leveling up. We will reborn from the Well of Souls and have escaped Alistar Tower. Cool. So level up, I guess. Oh, we got like a little grid. A failed experiment. Now results in an unstable potion. Increases chance to successfully harvest regents. Blacksmithing. Okay, this is where our stuff comes in at. Negative five percent sight range on unaware NPCs while in stealth. Increases the duration of time you can remain hidden before others will notice you. Sight range. I do want that additional sight range. To level eight. Uh, negative fifteen percent. Yes. Persuasion. Persuasion would be nice too. Increase by twenty. Increase your chance to persuade others to your way of thinking. Mm, let's go with uh we could get like let's go with more persuasion right quick and now we have a lot of combat stuff we can go might sorcery or finesse weapon attacks unlocks charge special attacks for daggers and fey blades okay 
I was wondering if there was more to the combat. Battle strike, hold and release the daggers to begin a dashing combo that can be chained up to five times. That sounds cool. Twisted claw, hold and release the fey blades attack to spiral through your enemies. Passive, your prowess with daggers lets you uh, get the most out of every cut and thrust. And we get two damage buffs. Skill of archery grants you a bonus to damage while using long bows and increase the number of arrows that can be fired. Yes. Many arrows. Additional arrows. Weaving a burst of shadow magic to wound. Shadow flare. To wound and stagger enemies in an arc before you quickly. Press the button again to throw a volley of shadow blades to them. Piercing and bleed damage. Uh, Attack. One staggers, targets four meters in front of you and deals three physical damage. How much does the, how much does this cost right now? This costs 20 mana, but this only costs five. And I have something here. Your deadly grace allows you to deal a tremendous amount of damage from stealth. Unlocks new sneak attacks with daggers or fey blades that can instantly kill an unaware enemy if you deal enough damage. Plus 10% critical. Plus 20% critical. Plus 30 damage. Okay, got quite a few uh quite a few options here. I do like the passives, but I'm not gonna focus on the passives for now. I'm gonna get this. That sounds great. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm focus on stealth for now. Um, secret techniques enable you to extend the duration of your poison and bleeding. I might start doing that at some point. Uh, Gambit, an acrobatic leap. Um, you distribute explosives across the battlefield that damage and launch enemies. This sounds cool. This sounds cool, but I need a lot of points to do that. Tinkering. Poison Cloud, that'd be cool. So we can get a Smoke Bomb. That's cool. Diligent Practice has granted you mastery over the Fey Blades, chief weapon of Summer Fey Court. Mastery. Um, unlocks Delay Special Attacks for Daggers and Fey Blades. Crossfire, a delayed attack with the Fey Blades, with the daggers that stabs and slices. Uh, timing the second attack perfectly guarantees a critical hit. Talent strikes. An attack from Fey Blades that launches your enemy into the air. Incredible draw power. Each arrow you fire can penetrate even the thickest armor. Alright, so I got a lot of choices here. Careful application of vile poisons to all your edge weapons and arrowheads. So this... Okay, this puts poison on my stuff. A frost trap. Oh man, I could play this kind of like I play Fantasy Star. That's cool. This is cool. I might do this. I might do this. Extensive experience with poisons grant you a heightened resistance. Focus ingenuity allows you to build frost traps to deal additional damage. So, Icy Explosion. So you just do more damage. Cool. Lunch. Lunch past your foes with e eternal. pre eternatural That's a weird word. That's a weird word. <laughs> pre eternatural That's a preternatural? What a strange word. Speed and attack them from behind. Razor blade, your razor sharp blades uh, of your, the razor sharp blades of your weapons cut into your foes with ease. Active sustain. So this is like a buff. While this ability is active, critical hits, critical hit damage from long swords, daggers, fey blades, and great swords is substantially increased. 15% of your mana. That's a bullshit. This is going to always cost 15% of your mana. No, doesn't matter how much mana you have. Kind of bullshit. As we're gonna forego magic, there's some good stuff here, it looks like. 
but I don't really want to do interdisciplinary. Uh, Not yet, anyway. Okay, so through the mage path, you can get some pretty good physical damage, too. Special attacks uh, from block for the uh, staff and scepter. Mage's vortex. Attack while blocking with the staff to draw all enemies in front of you. That's cool. Warding blast. Attack while blocking with the scepter to send a launching projectile towards your target. That's also cool. I think I am going to go um, interdisciplinary, actually. At what point, I don't know. But this right here is cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got summons. We got summons. Life of health. Oh, we got summons. I'm for sure going to go straight up here, it seems like. Unlocks dodge special for the chakrams. Orbital blades attack with the chakrams from a dodge to launch a launch an enemy plus uh, a punishing air follow-up. That's cool. Okay, so there's more to this combat than I even thought. There's like way more. Your protection creates a magical barrier that blocks a percentage of the damage. That's cool. Uh, tap the button to tag your targets with a magical mark. Press and hold the button to detonate. That's dangerous. Your mastery over the power of fire increases. Or, sorry. Your mastery over the power of fire allows you to increase the effectiveness of all burning effects. As well as the damage done by Mark of Flame. While spirit protection is active, ethereal orbs are created around you which deal damage to enemies they hit. That's awesome as well. Fire off daily ethereal splinters. Oh, there's an ability of Borderlands that's similar to this. Calls forth a meteor. Oh, I can I can turn the sepper off for uh Madara Uchiha. That's pretty cool too. Ice barrage. That's also Borderlands ability. Oh, so I can... This synergizes actually with uh, the finesse tree. With the ice traps. Oh, that's all freezing effects. But I would need this too. So you, you could just go like ice path. Oh, cool. Casting cost reduced. This is also cool. So this is for all casting. Bolt Storm. All right. Yeah, we're going hybrid. Um, I'm going to check out Might, but I don't think I'm going to use anything from Might. Unlocks a charge special attacks for Longsword, Greatsword, and Hammer. Combination of perfect form and raw strength lends additional damage to your Longsword. Uh, raw muscle and superb sense of balance. Uh, hammer, hammer would be nice. I might do that on a different playthrough though. Snag an enemy and pull it back to you. Oh wow, harpoon. Definitely a scorpion reference. Uh, may have the opposite effect. Well, oh, just like dark siders. So in dark siders, with the smaller enemies, you pull them to you with the ghost hand or the harpoon, um, or you go to uh, you go to the bigger enemies with the ghost hand or the harpoon enemies from 14 meters away deals 15 physical damage that's kind of nice this might be worth it even with the uh hybrid build interruption at the expense of armor um yeah so this is just hyper armor the refined battle techniques allow you to re reflect damage back at your opponents whenever relentless assault is in effect Okay, but there's a chance on it. There's a dark side of skill that's like that too. While relentless assault is in effect, each of your strikes grant you a measure of renewed vigor. Cool. So this is uh, health steal. Um, your masterful use of shields greatly increases your damage resistance while blocking. At the highest level, you can unlock a special shield bash move. Um, your durable nature enables you to survive nearly anything from sword wounds to magical flames. Okay, it just just uh, buffs, passive buffs. 
Uh, the threat of imminent death grants you a chance uh, for a surge of health in a short span of greatly increased damage. Your health falls below 25%. 30% chance to trigger and 20% um, 20% restores 20% health and you get damage. But it has a long cooldown. You achieve new heights of focus while an adrenaline surge is in effect, increasing your chance to deal critical hits. Also nice. We got a war cry here. Let loose a terrifying cry that intimidates enemies, reducing their damage output. Your war cry gains the ability to reduce enemy armor opening foes up to your attacks and sometimes causing them to panic. That, these are all cool. Unbridled rage uh, propels you to inhuman speed. Nice, extra speed. Wrath, jump upward, hurling nearby enemies along with you into the air and slamming them back down. Button mash to increase damage. Interesting. Piercing, damage resistance, carry, dodge, cool. Horizon's edge, attack with the long sword while dodge. Okay, I'm not gonna be using a long sword. There's a couple interesting abilities here. Uh, this one I might consider um, that's kind of it because everything else requires like a big old investment which I don't plan on doing and these are specifically for specific weapons that I don't plan on using with this character so I think we're good I think we're good let's try this charge attack oh that's cool Oh, because I'm... Are they responding to me? Another survivor? But I've never seen you in the tower. Were you one of the professor's assistants on the downstairs problems? Did he escape with you? No, can we bring him back? That sounds like him. Professor Hughes was very thoughtful. And badass. He is. He is very thoughtful. I'm sure he found a way to get out. He must have. Dude, this guy, Remy Callis, is just dwarven Craig Ferguson. I mean, think about it. Really think about it. Look at this. Look at this character. Let's do him talk. And think about it. Alistair is remote enough that we don't get a lot of visitors. And with our research, fewer visitors means fewer questions. Oh, you mean Agar? He visits Hughes every once in a while. I never could figure out why they got along. He's friendly, if a bit odd. You should be able to find him in Gorha, just down the road, past the ruins. You can't miss it. We all knew Formerus was a genius, but I'll admit, even I had my doubts about him being able to bring the dead back to life. Guess the Tuatha weren't very pleased that it worked. They don't know yet. I just don't understand the Tuatha. I mean, most fae aren't violent. The wild ones can be, but no more than any, for example. But the Tuatha are some sort of cult among the winter fae. Before they invaded Arafel, no one could have imagined the Fae ever marching to war. Brilliant idea, the Well of Souls. Plucks dead people out of the ether, rebuilds their body, and brings them back to life. At least that's what it was supposed to do. Guess we'll never know if it worked now. We should be safe here. At least a little bit. So, no active quests. Into the light. Speak with a Fate Weaver in Gorhart. Just before he was escaped, he told me to find a Fate Weaver named Agarth in the town of Gohort. Gorhart, I'm sorry. Uh, this Fate Weaver should be able to shed some light on my condition. Let's go 
we're going to harvest this star thistle. Some regions are more difficult to harvest than others. Invest in the alchemy skill to improve your ability to harvest regions. Dang it. I could have used that. Let's talk to Aura. Thank Matari. Another survivor. Are there any more? I didn't leave any survivors. No the door collapsed behind me. I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. This was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. You don't see many fruit cleavers nowadays, but they were very popular when I was a girl. My parents even hired one to advise them on raising my sister and me. But these days, you're lucky if you can find a single fruit weaver in a big city. Most have been run out of town. I like the term fate weaver. It is just a psychic, but it makes it sound so much more epic. Pomar Excuse was one of the greatest minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come true. The yeah, man is also a licensed badass. Who knows why the Tuatha hate mortals? Who knows why the Fae do half the things they do? The well was a beautiful dream, an end to death, a cure to tragedy. It would have made war pointless. It could have saved the world. We should have known it was too good to exist. Now our friends have paid the price. I don't understand how it would have made uh, war pointless. I think it would have led to more war because you'd have more people still around and the 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 whole problem with war is it's about resources so you got more people to consume resources that's literally just more war but maybe she doesn't understand that claude gani i saw you hiking there we could have used more of you if we really have a tool hey you Darksiders 2 players out there, can you tell who this voice is? I'll give you a second before I spoil it. Three, two, one. This is Karn from uh, Darksiders 2. I don't know the name of the voice actor, but this is for sure him. Uh, I don't believe, was, um, was Kingdoms of Amalur originally a THQ game? Or was or is the remake just a THQ game? I, I thought only the remake was a THQ game. All right, he asked us, did they really have a troll? The giant rock thing? Was it a... What? It wasn't a giant rock thing. No problem. Not for you, maybe, but I lost good soldiers in there. Oof. They were battle-hardened and wheeling the best of this in steel. Oof. How could you do better than them, rags and rubbish? Oof. That was an insensitive thing for me to say. Started building here when they found Tismir in the mines nearby. Never thought you'd see Tuatha this far out west, though. I like the way he pronounces Tuatha. Just Tuatha. Fate weaver? Bah, charlatan. You swears believe him. But I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. He wouldn't do so well in a Yu Gi Oh universe. You's ran off, you say? I wouldn't worry too much. The old man's tougher than he looks, and he's always got a plan. Yeah, Hughes isn't a scientist, man. Hughes is dwarven Batman. <laughs> My goodness. They're technically a type of wild fae, related to the fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twatha also use them in their army. No trolls. Never did trust Fee to begin with, but those Twath are the worst sort. They wage some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? Hey, they got a spy here, apparently. The well is incredible, but they took armloads of Prismere crystals to keep the thing active. That's why they built it so close to the Stone Candle Mine. 
They even put in a few tunnels to deliver the crystal directly into the well. I told them it wasn't safe. Looks like I was right. Again. It's always crystals and stones. Look out there. A well of souls. That is insane. Whoa, that place is wrecked. That place looks a lot bigger on the inside, I think, though. I mean, it's, it's big out here, but I feel like we were climbing. I guess because we were underground. Yeah, we were definitely underground. This place looks cool, though. How do you guys feel about an open world Amalur game? Pulsing circle on your mini map indicates your quest objective. Following it to your current goal. Uh, do I want to kill that? Oh, sorry. Need to see if that was harvestable. of Mitharu. Get this thing away from me. Hmm. Temporary bonus. So, is there somebody in trouble? Oh, that thing. Let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have left. I thought he was... Oh, he is hurting somebody. Probably ain't good. Eat that bear. Yeah. Bleed damage. Oh. He's done. He's not done. How did you come back? What? How did you find me here? How much time passed between them dumping her and her waking up? When I saw you with Emsil in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded. I don't know if I believe that. The well of souls is bigger than just one man's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Mm. I'm not going to kill him. I am going to extort him, though. I don't, I don't have... Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. Alright, I will see you later. Thanks for the gold. Alright, I'm just going to leave this stuff alone until I um, get my alchemy up. That's that. to the light so for some reason I'm just being sent to this shrine here oh never mind I thought the green was my objective but the yellow thing is my objective oh I can't swim and dive under can't dive under but I can swim you can hold X to go faster. That's neato. There's a fish. Can I get that? You can probably get a fishing rod and go to town in here. Oh, I can dive under though. Oh. 
steel daggers. See, that's how they fish. So I think it uh, looks like these pools here are where items are. You have quite a hammer. Hammers are a warrior weapon specialized in crushing and knocking down your enemies. Hold on, hold on, sorry. <laughs> Forgot my buttons for a second. Yeah, I really want X to be um, dodge. I think that's a, that's a Dark Souls thing, right? That's either Dark Souls or Dark Siders thing, one of the two. But that's that's what I'm defaulting to. Let's try this. Uh, pick lock. Use press mirror lock. Force. Ten percent chance. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. Oh, this is a mini game. We Elder Scrolls now. You are to adjust the angle. Then what do I do? Use L to slide it. Uh -oh. Okay, this should be good. That wasn't too bad. Fine birch buckler, leather gloves. Okay, we can um we can do some interesting stuff with our armor now. Might four, which I don't have. Dented curious. Wanna see how that looks. Nah, I'm not gonna really do heavy armor. This is gonna keep that for a while this look like this looks cool you can get a little capelet that glitches through your body I like the critical hit damage though plus 30% mana regeneration oh they took off my leg armor I'm just like in a thong okay fair enough uh, leather gloves, which I am currently wearing. I'm wearing the torn gloves. We'll rock these instead. What these look like? These look the same though. Roughly, right? I'm not crazy for imagining that. We'll rock the better gloves. 10%, we can get more mana regeneration if we equip these. If you don't mind that. Old shoes. Boots. I think I'm going to switch to the buckler. This also blocks six damage. And this gives us our move set. Oh, that's for longsword. Gotcha. We got for daggers. It's the whole move. See what this looks like. Oh, you get like a full on psycho crusher. My goodness. Don't like that stealth attack though. Oh wow. That one's a dispel, which I don't think I have anything for a dispel. Probably shouldn't even mess with it. Oh wow, <laughs> that was easy. Numbing longsword repair kit. Mm, 
let's try it. What am I doing? Uh, press X when the cursor is above a glyph to break it. Glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all glyphs will reseal. Uh, some glyphs reseal faster than others. Be careful of the order you break them in. Break all the glyphs to dispel the... Uh, oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. Got a birch longbow, a ring of lightning shield. It's like mushroom, perf perfidious cap, first longbow. Crude birch longbow. Is, oh, a weapon slocket. I said slocket. We'll continue to use this for now because I don't want to uh, mess anything up. Uh, and I got a new accessory. It's a lightning resistance. I did see some new armor. Wow. I don't got enough f finesse to use it. I need the whole set. A rival clan gifted Lord Amberwood with armor for his private guard. Then similarly dressed assassins uh, slew Amberwood. Oh, okay. Then similarly dressed assassin slew Amberwood and his whole family. All right. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff. I'm satisfied. Let's uh, make some story progress. Be back for this stuff once I have learned alchemy. What is that? It's like a magical ward or something. Oops. I don't think the wolves are gonna let me peacefully pass. So I'm gonna have to throw down some uh, some pain. Ow! Again, I'm trying to dodge with the X. Ow! There we go. That makes more sense. That was that was a little uh a little iffy. That attack is um a little strange. So it's like sometimes it doesn't hit. Oh, I should just stop messing with stuff, right? Um I'm going to I'm going to do main quest first. Then we'll come to the mines. Cuz he's probably going to send me here anyway. <laughs> Got to have a run button. Come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? What's a fate weaver? Hugh sent me to find you. Did he? Poor old Thomerus Hugh. He respected the way the world worked. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. I think you're tricking me. Yeah, tell me you're the you're the Fate Weaver, but that man looked plenty alive last time I saw him. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes's success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly, although we did a lot of drinking after that. Ha! 
Ah, <laughs> that's okay. I was dead too. Uh, let's ask him for some help. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success, whichever. Thank you. That's nice. Oh, uh, that's okay. I was dead too. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. <laughs> Prepare yourself. They're coming. Wow. Can I just have one conversation, guys, without you all popping up? Again, I'm pressing the X button to dodge. Yes, it doesn't always hit. It's, it's a strange attack. Do I gotta time it? Yeah, that attack's weird. It's like only the first hit hits. energy to enter reckoning mode reckoning mode greatly increases your speed and attack power it lasts until either your fate meter runs out or you fate shift an enemy uh l2 and r2 to harness the power of fate into reckoning mode do i gotta hold it why do i gotta hold it for so long okay Unleash your... As you defeat enemies in Reckoning Mode, their fates will begin to unravel. Okay. Fair enough. Do I kill them? Or... Can I kill them is the question. Attack so weird. Uh, move near an unraveling enemy and press X to perform a fate shift. This uses your remaining fate energy to destroy all unraveling foes and grants you an experience bonus. Okay. Oh, I gotta tap it. So I gotta do. Another victory. Cool. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I, I actually don't know. I don't know, dude. You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come Calm here. down, man. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see you again. Probably won't even matter. Sounds like she has free will. Like actual free will. Do you always see death? I'd rather not. Is this why you sent me? That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan. Unlike most men. I don't believe in fate. That's fine, but you don't have to. I can see that you're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your thread in the weave of fate. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. <laughs> you must be drunk. Can't see my fate. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just missing. Interesting. That makes no sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. Now this is true, and I'm not saying I believe that. But your path 
is yours to determine. I knew it. I could already tell. Um, and I did not make it this far before. I think the last thing I did was um was the Yeti. Didn't I cut the game off before? See, tier zero, fateless one, newly resurrected. Your fate is blank, formless, and ready to be forged into the shape of your choosing. Rogue, tier one. Unlike many of the warriors of Amalur, rogues prefer to fight from far away or from behind, or by dishonorable means, and usually by surprise. As a rogue, you sneak, dodge, and slather weapons with poison to gain the advantage in combat. That's a lot of really cool bonuses. We do Acolyte. As an Acolyte, you are devoted to the Arcane and a mastery of elemental forces. I am the Avatar. Uh, you prefer to destroy your opponents with raw magic uh, rather than crude or mundane methods. I suppose. Got a mana cost reduction, some elemental damage. Uh, we have a Brawler. And what's this stuff down here? So if I get this up then I have even more so I can choose my fate at any time I guess this is kind of like a job system I'm imagining scout okay I think I can change these as we go along fateless one no bonuses uh, with this destiny uh, brawler by the way with this destiny you are a formidable melee combatant you can withstand a lot of punishment, and it is usually more efficient for you to block or suffer an attack rather than dodge one. We're going full on rogue. Let's do it. <laughs> You're terrible at this. Uh, what does this mean? I kind of want to do that. Damn it! It's the truth. <laughs> At least, I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. Okay. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arthur. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Awesome. It was wrong with my fate. Um, we're going to go see Arden, but I do want to explore that cave nearby as well. Um, so, I'm a Soul Reaver player, guys. I'm a Legacy of Cain player, so I can kind of spot some of this stuff like coming from a mile away. Uh, Raziel from Soul Reaver is a very similar character. Um, I probably shouldn't say any more because that would spoil Soul Reaver, and I would like every one of you guys that's watching this, if you haven't played the Soul Reaver series, the Legacy of Cain series, I really recommend playing that. So, But uh, yeah, Fate is a huge theme in that game. Uh, they go into all types of things regarding fate. And uh, yeah, I could smell her being the one with free will from a mile away, which is really interesting. Just ask what's wrong with our fate. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. You don't have one. That's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. Yolven. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding. The blade of Avdrim. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fey. I was a hero to men. Damn, dude. But that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out Fate was the one thing I couldn't do. Everybody's just a badass in this game. Like, everybody's just like... We need combat skills to get through life, which makes sense. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yolven. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver, but that doesn't make you very popular, especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate, measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate Weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bit of a lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. Right. But you do. And when a Fate Weaver looks at your place in the loom, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. The 
the Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods, but that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news, and all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost, and all I foretell is the fate of my beer, <laughs> and I see it being empty soon. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. Badass. The Tawafa aren't like any Fey I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. <laughs> That's a good one. Good zinger. What does this all mean? Okay, so we're going to meet Arden next time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Pick up some gold. And we're going to continue right where I left off. If I can remember which... Where did I come from? That's going to be an invisible wall. He's there. Did I, I think I came from here. Yeah, I came from this direction. So next time we're going to explore that cave over there. And we're going to then continue to Yolven to speak with Arden. But for now, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. So I do appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this game here. Let me know if you guys like it, if you want to see more of it. I think I'm going to play more regardless. Um, but for me to get really into it, I'm probably going to need to see if you guys like it or not. Um, and a shout out to Buckethead Head, who recommended this game last year. Um, really good suggestion. Again, I did plan on playing the original Kingdoms of Amalur for the uh, 360. But um, yeah, I think I think that's cool. Plan a re-reckoning first. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So appreciate you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, life at the moment. Hope you guys are having some good holidays. You know Christmas is coming up in a couple of weeks. So um, hope you guys are taking care of yourselves as well as your loved ones. But uh, till next time, everybody. Peace.